out here at Streetcar Takeover. It is hot. We're trying to get some shade up. Uh, and then I decided to update the Holly firmware because there's a new laptop with new firmware. And then the Holly froze on us and wouldn't take the new firmware. So I'm actually backdating it to the computer I use for my car. Uh, so we're going to try to get this updated Ooh. another Getting two or three closer. minutes. Uh, they've been calling Roll Race Test and Tune for a while to make some test hits. We were trying to get up there. We still need to take the car in. So I'm gonna get back to it, try to get this thing up there. So hopefully we can make a test hit. We might just have to jump right into elimination. So uh, we'll get a tune up put in it, run it down there, tuck it in and hope for the best. All right, here we go. We get two test hits, but we only got about 15 minutes. So probably one test hit. Put a uh, tune up similar to Texas 2K in it. And we'll see how it does here. It's gonna be pretty aggressive on the hit when the boost comes in. So hopefully the track is good. As you guys can see, uh, right here they'll send us and then right around the tree is when we'll get to launch the car so uh 80 boost like we were at boost by time at their strip here we're off of um throttle position is when the boost will start that pass 143 we're on very good um Probably a little too aggressive, but Texas 2K, like that would have hooked, and here it didn't. So, going to pull the data, try to put a lot smoother bootstrap in it, we'll go from there. They're already calling us for King of the Bakery class, so we're in a hurry. Round number one, they ended up just doing uh, whoever you pull up next against, and since uh, we were late to the lanes, we ended up getting a bye first round. So. Sixty-five mile an hour, not too bad. I think there was maybe one or two other cars that went in the 160 range on that last one. So I'm not sure who we're gonna have this time, but he'll uh, he'll go get paired up, and then we will see how it goes. All right, here we go. First, uh, second round race here. Us the Silver Mustang. We set the pace. bad well looks like that'll be about it Whoa. Spun at about the 330 foot marker and that will be it Mustang will get the win so that's it for the roll race uh, <laughs> unfortunately that's what happens uh, actually the same exact tune-up I added more up top but we weren't even to that part of the tune-up yet and it still spun, so the track was wicked greasy. Um, tried to pedal it twice and still uh, wasn't even close. So we will regroup and figure out this roll race stuff. It's like 90 something out right now. Uh, the track temp is probably mid hundreds and it is just crazy hot, but uh, missed out on, I mean, just overpowered it. It's just straight up what happened. But So I guess I need to get my car teched in and get ready for the 10-0 class. I decided to enter into the 10-0 class with the Camaro. Uh, I'm gonna have to turn it down a bit to run that class, but uh, there's only like three people in the Street Racer 950 class, and there's 30 people in the 10-0 class. So if you're gonna go compete against people, try to win some money or whatever, turn the car down, I might as well index against 30 people, not three. Uh, so gonna get the car ready and keep on rolling. We're going to check out the burnout contest here at Streetcar Takeover. We got Trevor sitting in the back. He's going to uh, do it in his Supra. Check it out.
one, so that was an issue. Uh, I went to go make my first test pass, and the battery is dead. So it's one of those days, nothing's quite going perfect. So uh, we'll let it get charged up a little bit, and I'll go try to make a pass. I decided to run the 10 class today. Took a stab in the dark to put a tune up in it for uh, the 10 class. And my very first guess went 10 6 So uh, it's pretty interesting. I think we're gonna leave it there and just hope that I can cut lights. Uh, and if anybody has to drive around me, they'll probably break out. Or if I cut a good light, I should be able to win it. So uh, unless I happen to get to an 00 car or something like that. But uh, I'm going to leave the exact tune up in it, not even touch the laptop. Go make my second hit as the air is getting a little bit cooler and see if it goes like an 00 or a 9 uh, and see if it picks up. But usually this car is dead consistent once there's a tune up in it. But uh, we'll see what happens here. Uh, I guess I don't really look at the slips to the hundreds or the thousands, but uh, index racing, you got to. So I can take this 10 and hopefully go a few rounds, if not win this thing. Well, welcome back everybody. It's uh, now like after nine o'clock. It's rained for a couple hours. And now we're gonna go make our first round of the 10 index class. I'm gonna leave the tune up exactly the same. We didn't get a second hit. So I'm gonna uh, leave it the same. Just hopefully cut a good light. See if we can uh, get a win for first round. Now don't quote me on this. lifted just a hint early and it went double seven. Yeah, that was awesome. That's perfect. Yeah. If it'll do that, it's hard to... You know what I realized? I never put methanol in it. So it's probably pulling timing because the intake tips up top. Oh. Which I'm not going to add it now. And it'll just go quicker. No. It, it'll just pull timing because the intake tips. Which apparently that's... It works. That's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, he was way out ahead of me. I was like, oh, dude's going to way break out. Way, way break out. And then he dumps it and I was like, whoop. So I just backed off just enough to where it, but he still broke out by a long ways, 10, 8, 983. Oh, he figured it. If I would have ran it out though, it probably went 995, 9990. That was cool. Yeah, that was good, that's, that's really good. So we're about ready to run out of time here. We got 43 minutes. The track goes dead at uh, midnight. They have a curfew here. So we got 23 minutes till uh, they're gonna shut it down. So and they got all those cars still in line, still doing second round. We just finished up second round. So we'll see what happens. The car is doing unbelievably well for a 10.0 class. Uh, 10.06, 10.007, and a 10.03 so far. So hopefully we can get another round in. Uh, if not, I guess midnight they're going to shut it down.
forgot to turn the GoPro on. Sorry, guys, but uh, just beat this. I think it's a bracket bug, but uh, it was a close race. He was at my door the whole way. But I, I got him uh, just right there at the very end. That might have been the very last pass of the night, too. It's 12. It's like 12.05. They have a curfew at 12 o'clock. Thank you, sir. 12.052 at 130. Went 135 on the light. He had me a little on the light, but not bad. We'll take it. To come over the speaker, nobody's even back yet, but they're calling it and passed that. So I might have been even the last pass down the track right there. Um, called it at like 12.05. So uh, looks like we're splitting pots, but I'll update you guys here in a minute from the, uh, from the uh, payout, I guess, or from the booth. Uh, we're going to get loaded up so we can get the heck on the road. Got a couple hour drive home and it's midnight, but that's racing, right? So you guys remember that 12 o'clock curfew? Well, it's 12.10, they shut it down, but I won that last pass. So that leaves three of us in the class. They're splitting the pot. I think it's about a $1,500 pot. So that might've been about a $500 win. So uh, better than nothing, it's midnight, time to get the cars in the trailer. We probably, probably won't leave the track till, I don't know, 12.30, 12.45. So it's gonna be late night. So we're gonna do that, but I'll update you guys here in a little bit. So just finished up the uh, little awards thing and got paid and all that stuff. So I uh, ended up being 19 cars in that class of pay. I was like 316 bucks, so not too bad for coming up and playing anyway. I guess it'll cover the cost of the trip and all that stuff. So we are now headed home for a couple, two and a half hour drive probably. So uh, we're gonna get on the road, but appreciate everyone for watching. I know it's dark, but uh, that's how racing goes sometimes, right? So thank you again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.